Now that I've had my hair cut, we can talk about this. Adox Scala 50, which is a black and white reversal film. And when processed correctly, will give you black and white slides. I should probably explain what this stuff actually is because black and white slides are pretty obscure and not something you actually see a lot of. So this film, Scala 50, is a super panchromatic, extremely fine grained, high contrast black and white film which can be reverse processed in the right chemistry to give a positive image. Now, in theory, you can actually reverse process any black and white film, but for the best results, you do need to use a film that was designed to be reverse processed like Scala 50. But before we get to that, we actually need to shoot some film. So I loaded up the F3 and the Bronica with the panoramic back and headed out to take some photos. In order to get our positive image on the film, we need to use a reversal processing kit. Now I'm using the Adox Scala black and white reversal kit, which contains all of the chemicals needed to get a positive image on the film. I'm also going to be using my Jobo to do the processing because that will save some chemistry and this kit unfortunately isn't cheap. So this is what comes in the Scala kit. You've got your film developer, your reversal bath or your bleach bath, You've got a clearing bath and some instructions. First up on the mixing list is this clear bath. So this contains 100 grams of powder and it's for 200 ml. So I'm going to mix up uh, 50 grams at a time. So I'm only mixing up a liter of the clear bath. Okay, 50 grams. There we go. So it's 50 left in the packet. I'm quite, quite going to pour it up to a liter. Also, that's some uh, clear bath dust blowing around. Don't breathe that. Is this the most ideal starting rod? No. And I don't like your judgy attitude about it. This, by the way, is my uh, patented wooden paddle shaped stirring stick. Also known as a wooden spoon. Also known as the instrument of fear to every Irish child born in the 90s. Bleach. It's really a manganese bleach, isn't it? Let's get this show on the road, shall we? So, developer in. We have to turn on the rotation. It's 14 minutes. And when we finish with the developer, we're going to have to save it because it's used for the second development of the actual slides themselves. Now we have to do our first washing step. So these work by just washing 30 seconds aside. Don't be too precise with the washing step because, well, it's a washing step. Okay, so we're on to the bleach step now, which runs for three minutes and 24 seconds. So we can spin it 
pour in a rinse. So I'm going to pour rinses to remove all the bleach. So now we have a clear bath. Ten seconds to go. We'll dump our clear bath. And we're just going to keep changing the water every you know, 20 to 30 seconds for three minutes for a total of six washes. Okay. So this is the most nerve-wracking step with black and white reversal processing because we need to open the tank halfway through developing to re-expose all of the unexposed silver. So we need to expose each side of each reel for two minutes. Now they recommend you do this according to Adox inside a container of water and you hold it up to the light you don't do this in the sun but you hold it up near a household light for two minutes so here she is and you can actually see there is some images on this so the process is working so far so we're going to take the top reel off lower this into our container of water i'm going to take this container of water and i'm going to hold it up to the light for two minutes to re-expose any silver left on the film. Oh my god. Ah, I stretch my arms. Oh, another 30 seconds of exposure. Pluck out the wheel. Pour in a developer. Again. And we're gonna let that run for five minutes. I see images, but yeah, there's definitely some slides on this film. That's super cool. So we're gonna bring this upstairs. I'm gonna hook it up to my film washer. So I'm just gonna leave that rinsing away for about 10 minutes or so. And that is two more rolls added to the graveyard of film canisters. So after all of that, we finally get to look at our beautiful black and white slides on the light table. And I do have to say, the results are spectacular. The slides just have this otherworldly feeling to them. You know, an E6 slide looks familiar and kind of everyday because we see in color and it looks normal to us. But a black and white slide is black and white, but also positive on the film. So it just kind of looks strange but also kind of familiar. It's, it's really, really weird. And it is something you kind of have to see in person to understand, but it is really, really cool. As for this Scala 50 film, I have to say this stuff is really, really nice. It is super sharp and it has beautiful detail with its extremely fine grained structure, but it also has those lovely, bright, crisp highlights that I really do like in my black and white shots with those deep, dark shadows. And it does all of this while maintaining a nice set of middle tones. It doesn't fall into that trap where you end up with all of the highlights kind of you know going extreme and all the shadows going extreme on high contrast films. It just sort of has a nice balance of good, solid contrast combined with some nice detail in the mid tones. It truly is a really nice film to shoot. As for the metering of the film, I used the same technique that I used for slide film and it worked out very well. I did end up with a handful of underexposed frames, but those were due to issues with me metering, not the actual process itself. Now there is one last bit of trivia with this film, and that is that HR50 and Scala50 are the same film. Adox sells this under two different SKUs, in order to differentiate the different processes that it can be developed with, which, you know, makes sense. You know, having a film with the Scala brand alongside your Scala processing kit makes it clear that they are compatible with each other and it just makes it easier to figure out which film to buy. Now this does raise a very interesting possibility. Because this is HR50, that means it has infrared sensitivity and that means you could actually use this to make infrared black and white slides and that just seems like a great idea i'm definitely gonna have to try that in the future 
So now it's conclusion time. And I have to say, The Scala 50 is truly an amazing film. If you get the chance to, you really do need to shoot this and get it processed as a slide. As for whether I will continue shooting this, well, this is 100% going into my regularly used black and white films alongside HP5 and Delta 100. I won't be shooting it as much as those two, mostly because of the 50 ISO rating, which means it's kind of limited to sunny days and summertime, but it will definitely be a very regular showing in my photos. The only issue with this is the cost. The Scala chemicals are designed to be used as a one shot, which means that this 35 euro kit can only process about eight rolls before it's all used up. So it ain't cheap. However, if you have a rotary processor, it looks like you will be able to stretch the kit out to around 16 or so rolls. So it does make it a fair bit cheaper. But even if you don't want to process it as a slide, you can just buy HR50 and process it as a negative using the HR dev that Adox sells as well, which is a hell of a lot cheaper in comparison to using the slide kit. But where's the fun in that? Anyway, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.